Guys, look into mine. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those jeepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Guys, y'all get up. How'd they get so lit up? Guys, y'all get up. How'd they get that size? Golly gee. Jeepers Creepers, more of a monster movie than a slasher. Well, for starters, the acting, or the lines, or both, are brutal to start with. There's really piss-poor plot development to kick off the start as well. Driving through the countryside with all the Jesus stuff on the radio, does this remind you of anything? They're the ones in love with the guy. What? What Jesus did? Grass now fouls a grass seed. I'm not a fanatic. What I am is a fan. Oh, God. That serpent-headed demon shaking you by the... Maybe they've discovered music. Oh, God. 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 Oh,
and what the hell happened to his face? Earlier, minus that was a good looking character. In fact, I'm forcing this from my mind. He takes off with Derry, and Trish runs out after her brother, and is keeping surprising pace with the Night Flyer. It ends with Trish pondering into the sky, following the crow to the creeper's new lair, where the song she heard and the fortune teller of Derry come true. So, what to think about this movie? Well, for starters, it's an interesting title. The title doesn't really have anything to do with the main character at all. It appears in the movie, but nothing more. Whereas Michael Myers actually appears on Halloween night, which would make more sense. I just think it's a different approach for a multi-slaying type killer. But it does beat the original title to this, which was Here Comes the Boogeyman, which is just atrocious. Why not call the movie Scary or Boo? Rating what this film is, well, it's listed as a mystery, uh, which I don't totally understand. I mean, besides what's trying to kill me, that's where the mystery kind of stops. And I wouldn't really rate it a slasher either. I think this movie owes more to Godzilla than it does to Jason or the Mothman prophecies. A monster that eats and replenishes itself sounds more like a monster than a mystery or a slasher. Besides, what's trying to kill me? That's the only mystery to it, so I still can't get around why they would call it that. And not to bore you, but I figured what the hell, I'll throw this in there. Uh, some stuff I come by is kind of weird when I'm doing research, and I actually found the original term of what Jeepers Creepers is. And it's this, the term Jeepers Creepers originated in the early 20th century as a polite euphemism for Jesus Christ. It was later changed to Jiminy Crickets as a synonym for a later phrase and was co-opted by Walt Disney as the name of a car cartoon insect. That's the most useless information I think I've ever given on the show. Anyway, if I get a quick reaction, maybe I'll follow up with part two pretty quick. This is an okay movie, uh, with some serious, legit, intense moments, uh, but it's filled with a lot of needless dialogue and poor delivery. The makeup and the look of the creature, though, look great, minus the weird shit on his face. I don't have an opinion on his flying, but I could do without it. So, I think, don't go in expecting much, but definitely give it a look. This was HMRG, thanks for watching. To put my cheetahs on. Creepers, creepers, where'd you get those creepers? Oh, those weepers. How they hit me time. Knock me out. Where'd you get those eyes? Where'd you get them? Won't you put me wide? Don't you tie me. Pay to advertise. Tell them something. Where did you get those?